Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. Hi, I'm RV Robinson. I'm the master speaker trainer, international speaker, and author of Speak Up, Get Clients. And I just want to take a moment and welcome you to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast, because this is a little different podcast than some in that it is a podcast all about how to become a million dollar speaker, reach millions, and make millions doing it. And so we have a very special guest. This is actually one of my clients, one of my superstar clients. She's in my million dollar speaker mastermind group, and she is just an up and coming rising star. And I want to introduce her to you today. So her name is Angelique Sunshine. Angelique is a master manifester, inspirational speaker, and she is an internationally licensed life coach with over 20 years experience, and she's the CEO of Grow Your Destiny. Angelique teaches people who want to manifest their wildest dreams by shining light on what they really want to create so they can love themselves and others without judgment, raise their vibration in their uh, frequency and attract exactly what they want and become a permanent manifestation magnet for life. Angelique is here today to share with us the secrets on how to manifest faster than the law of attraction. So let's welcome Angelique Sunshine. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Angelique, welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. Welcome to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. Hi, Arby. Thank you for having me today. Awesome. So let's just jump right in because one of the very first questions we always want to know from each individual that I interview is what are the characteristics of a million dollar speaker? What do you think makes a speaker a million dollar speaker? So to become, to be that million dollar speaker in my mind, you really need a couple different things. You need to have clarity on your message. Good. Having clarity on your message is key because if you go up there and you try to talk and you're talking all over the place, you're not a million dollar speaker. The next thing you content for everybody every single day. And every time you get up on stage, you're driven to be that hundred percent that hundred percent. So then you also need to make sure that you follow formulas and have a coach. A coach is key. If there's one thing to be a million dollar speaker in my mind, in my experience is having an amazing coach that can really take you through that process and give you the keys that you, the tools that you need to get that message clearly across in a way that people understand. And that now you're excited and you're driven to get it done. Amen. Well done. Well said. All right. So you are known as the master manifester, the master manifester. And you claim that you can teach people how to manifest even faster than the law of attraction. So tell us a little bit about how you became the master manifester. Oh, well, that was exciting. So I've been manifesting my entire life and there's good and bad manifestations in both. However, what I realized is I was woken up five years ago and told by God to master my manifestation so that I could teach others how to manifest successfully as well. So I ended up manifesting a better job and no drama. And then fast forward, July, 2020, I was woken up out of my sleep again, this time, I stood up and, and I was told I was compelled and said to a million people who were not in my bedroom, <laughs> we're going to have, go from an unintentional, unfulfilled life to an intentional, fulfilled life. Who's with me? You can manifest faster than the law of attraction too. Now, what happened after that was divine intervention. Here comes my coach in my life, the wonderful RV Robinson and the million dollar speaker, which happened to be the million people in my bedroom 
you know, sometimes you have to look at those synchronicities when you're talking manifestation, because if you don't watch for the synchronicities when you're manifesting something, you really could miss that chance to manifest and really have that manifestation come true. Amen to that. Well, that's a fantastic story. A million people in your bedroom. That must have been something else. <laughs> a little crowded in there. All right. So tell us, I, again, you, you teach people how to manifest fast. So give us a couple of hints. Give us a couple of ways that anybody listening to this podcast can take those steps or a couple of ways or whatever and go out and get something whether it's a cup of coffee something small as a cup of coffee or something as big as a new career yeah so the first key the first step to manifest stage manifesting faster than law of attraction is clarity you need to be clear absolutely clear on what you want not i want i just want a cup of coffee it's i want a skinny vanilla latte with coconut milk <laughs> a cup of coffee you could just get a cup of black coffee you don't even like the black coffee you want exactly what you're looking for so make sure that you know exactly what you want that's what i can help you with the next step is to make sure that you have a routine where you have affirmations you're going to affirm to yourself every day telling your subconscious mind that what you want is that vanilla latte skinny vanilla latte with coconut milk and that's going to go into your subconscious mind and you will have your manifestations much faster because your thought process will be going through that. The, the last key that I can tell you is control your thoughts. Not every thought you have is your thought, right? You have a million thoughts a day. Make sure that the ones that you attach your manifestations and your actual actions to and your words to are going into that right direction of the manifestation that you're looking for. If you're looking for that cup of coffee and then you go sideways, all of a sudden you're thinking orange juice, well, now the universe is confused. You want the coffee, you want the oranges? I don't know what you want. So you get nothing. Right. So stay focused, stay clear, and stay affirming. Okay. So, affirmations going. So let's, let's just uh, go back to that. So number one, yeah. being clear. And I think even the coffee example, right? It's like, you, where do you want that from? Are you going to make it? Do you want it from Starbucks? Do you want it in, you know, in the grocery store? So even where is it coming from? So when you get clear, not only what is it, where is it coming from? What brand is it? And then you said you stay focused, focus on what you want. And then um, affirmations, or, or did I get it right? Yeah, Affirm no, affirmations, correct. Yeah. Affirmations. So it's very important. Now, what happens when somebody has self-talk, that little, you know, thing that's on our shoulder that says you don't deserve the latte grande, blah, 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 from, from Starbucks, right? What do, you, what do we do then if that little, little uh, devil is on our shoulder? How do we knock it off? So that's what we call self-limiting beliefs. Okay. And when you have that little devil on your corner and he's talking to you, what you're going to do is you go back to that observing your thoughts, right? Where you have that thousand thoughts a day and you really need to figure out which ones you want to hold on to and make part of yourself or which ones you don't want to hold on to. So when that devil tells you, you're not good, I'm not good enough. And that's how it's going to hear in your internal voice. You're going to hear it. I'm not good enough to get that cup of coffee. I don't, I don't deserve it. Right. Well, that's you're looking and you're saying, I just deserve a black cup of coffee. I don't deserve the latte grande. With right. milk, you know? <laughs> I don't deserve, or even I don't deserve the new house. I don't deserve that great job. You really do deserve it. So make sure you take that nasty little devil on your shoulder and say, that's not me. That's not me thinking that. That's, that's this. Throw it out. So ignore the thought, throw it out of your mind and don't think about it again. If it comes up again, make sure that you reaffirm to yourself I am worthy and I'm worthy of whatever I want to manifest and I'm worthy of receiving it. Right. Now we can, now we're talking about a cup of coffee, but your techniques work, whether it's a big house or a cup of coffee. Now you yourself, I know two incidences where you've manifested an entire career. And that means there's a lot of moving parts because there's other people involved, but 
Tell us a little bit about that and how even though, you know, for people not to get discouraged if there's other people involved, they will come together. They Everything will like go into an alignment and get you what you want to manifest. So tell us a little from your own experience, a couple of the careers you've created and what you're doing now, right? And how other people can do the same. So I have actually manifested my entire CFO career for of 22 years in controllership. And that was because I had a little hiccup in college, but here's the deal is things in our life are going to happen. But when you are focused in your manifestation, you can seriously, uh, I didn't graduate college because of circumstances. However, I still moved on and manifested controllership positions, CFO positions. I've been doing this for 22 years, mentoring and even counseling and coaching people. This happens. I had a high paying career with a great company and great jobs. That is all manifestation. I could have sat down and said, oh, oh, circumstances happened. I couldn't get anything done. I'm just going to sit here and work <laughs> at McDonald's. No, I knew I was worth it. I knew that I could get it done. And I knew that if I believed in myself, that my manifestations would come true. So today, that's the same thing that I did today. Manifesting, grow your destiny. So I manifested Grow Your Destiny as well, going through that divine intervention and now getting, saying, I'm going to do this, deciding, making that clear choice that this is what I was going to move forward in my manifestations. And then lo and behold, manifested Arby and everybody else, my mastermind community and all of the connections that I've made thus far. And when that happens, you are in unstoppable. I feel unstoppable. I am unstoppable because my manifestations are still growing. They're That's still coming true. And okay, so you manifested something big, which is a couple of careers and a career change. But now share with everybody how you manifested sales. You did a webinar. Oh, yes. Share that. Because that was so exciting. Yeah. So I just did my first free webinar, how to manifest faster than the law of attraction. Now, from what I'm told, a first webinar only has a couple people in it. Well, let me tell you, I knew that people were going to show up to my event and I knew it was going to be more than anybody else had. I had 12 people show up to my event and I had 60% conversion rate for my next full day event. Woo! Which is unheard of, 60%. Yeah. Even if you're a seasoned, even if you're a seasoned speaker, 60% conversion, unheard of, but on your first try, that's manifestation. Amen. So you went to bat and you hit a home run. Absolutely. And you, now you, I mean, you've been teaching other people how to hit that kind of home run as well. So tell us a little bit about a client you worked with and what kind of home run did they manifest? So I had a client that was completely unhappy with herself and her career. She didn't enjoy going into that company every single day. And she really wanted to leave California, but she really didn't have any direction. She didn't know where she wanted to go. So ultimately, when with working with me, we got very clear on what she wanted. She wanted to go to Idaho. Okay, you want to go to Idaho. What do you want to do in Idaho? So now she's not only working, in, she's working from home pre-COVID in Idaho for the same company that she didn't want to go into every day. But now she's in such a position to where she enjoys going to work every day. And not only that, she has financial freedom to where she barely had money to pay her house note before. So now she has that financial freedom. Her husband has a great job out in Idaho and she has so much love for me because she just thinks that it was me. And I tell her, no, honey, that was you. That was the belief in yourself. And that was your manifestations with my help. That's it. Beautiful. Now tell us a little bit, we, we're running out of time, but tell us a little bit about how important is visual, right? Vi not only imagining it visual, but maybe having some visual aids on a computer or a, a vision board or PowerPoint or something. Talk to us a little bit about visual and, that, and what that does. So visualizing your manifestations actually does twofold for you. One, it reminds you on to stay focused and clear on what you want. The most important thing that it does though, is if you can close your eyes and really visualize, visualize that brand new house, visualize that great new career with that really huge paycheck. Mm. And when you're visualizing it, you're feeling that person, you become that person. So you're really feeling what you would be feeling at that moment. So 
if you got, you're manifesting this huge house, imagine yourself, what do you feel like in this house? What does it feel like to walk through the door? What does it feel like to sleep in the bedroom? What does it feel like? Because the most important thing, you're right, visualization on manifestations. Now, if you need help, again, you can do vision boards. If you need a visualist, we all learn differently. Some are meant, you know, we, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, you can do vision boards. You can have, um, you can do three, you can write down your, your manifestations a couple of times. If you're, you know, you learn like that. There's many different ways and I can teach you the best way to learn for yourself. But yes, visualization is, make sure you have that feeling behind the visualization. Right. So the feeling is what makes the visualization work. And the visualization is different from each person. You might want a vision board, you might want a PowerPoint, you might want, you know, but either way, you have to envision it and, and empower it by feeling. Yeah. That's what makes it happen. So last question before we go, and that is, you talk a lot about raising one's frequency, right? That all this kind of happens because the frequency of, an individual is heightened. So can you speak to that a little bit? So a frequency, a vibrational frequency is really your feelings. So it's your vibe. I'm sure you've heard the word vibe. So yeah. it's your vibe. So when you have that really happy, I'm sure when you're excited and you're happy and you're ready to go somewhere or you're going to get something, the anticipation, the gratefulness, you have this great tingling through your body and you just can't control it because you're so excited. That's a high vibration. When you're feeling down and out and depressed, you're really feeling really slumped. So that tingle's not there. You're really looking for a high vibe. You're looking for the tingle. You're looking to make sure that you are raising those vibrations. One of the best ways you can do it is dancing to music, listening to music, making sure, reading, reading something you enjoy. Yep, dancing, doing all of that stuff. Anything that makes you happy, walking down the beach, taking a hike in the mountains, going shopping, whatever it is that makes you happy, will raise your vibrations. And the higher your vibrations go, the faster you will manifest. Beautiful. Now, to raise your vibration, most of what you just talked about was physical. So is it really physical that we have to do? We have to get up, maybe do dancing, maybe walk on the beach, maybe walk our dogs, or is it, how important is the physical? So it really depends on your level and your mindset. So there's different levels on being able to raise vibrations. So if you have, if you are really good at loving yourself internally and you truly feel like you're 100% enough, you could just close your eyes and think a thought can raise your vibration. God. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. I just have a thought that raises my vibration and I can feel the tingles coming out of my body, the energy coming out. But at a lower, like when you're first learning, You'll want to have some physical things that do make you happy and that do help you raise those vibrations. But once you master, once you become that manifestation magnet for life, you can do it with a thought. Beautiful. A simple thought. That is beautiful. That is key. That's worth a million dollars right there, Angelique. All right. Well, our time is up for today, but it's been such a pleasure to hang out with you and to talk to you and to, to hear about this because I see potential for every speaker to even be a better speaker, a million dollar speaker, if they raise their vibration so that you know, they can, you know, raise it in their audience, but also visualizing their success. So yes. you've given us keys, not only to manifest, but to manifest ourselves as being a million dollar speaker and creating the kind of sales reaction and just, you know, making a bigger difference in the lives of our audience. So thank you so much, Angelique, for this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if someone wanted to get a hold of you and learn more about how they can become a manifester or a manifesting magnet, how do they get a hold of you? So you can email me at mylife at growyourdestiny.com. You can also catch me on the website, www.growyourdestiny.com. I'm also on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So you can catch content, tips, tricks, con whatever you need. And plus, if you have any questions around anything manifestation or anything, even if you want to be a, you're a speaker that needs to learn more about how to manifest those sales, how to manifest a better speaking environment, how to manifest yourself as a more confident person, please, please, please email me directly. I will personally answer any question you have. No question's a dumb question. Excellent. Or even how to manifest more speaking engagements. That's right. That's the number one. I'm doing 
right now I have 180 engagements committed for the year. I've done 40 so far and I am manifesting more and more every day. Awesome. Good job. Good job. All right, everyone. Thank you again, Angelique, for joining us. It has been so much fun. And again, your energy and you just really are sunshine in the lives of others. So thank you for being who you are. All right, great. Well, this is RV Robinson. That is our show today. Tune back in next week for another Million Dollar Speaker.